2024 Adelaide Fringe is back starting tomorrow. Um, fantastic time, not only for Adelaide, but all of South Australia. It really brings Adelaide and South Australia alive. Um, there's 1,400 shows this year for Fringe, so there is absolutely something for everyone. Music, circus, magicians, it's all, all here at the Adelaide Fringe um, and something um, for you to go in and enjoy uh, and really bring the vibrancy to the whole state. We're expecting about 50,000 people to come in uh, to the state, visitors from interstate and overseas. Um, so not only the great cultural benefits, but incredible economic benefits for the state for having uh, what is the second biggest festival in the world here in Adelaide. So it's a fantastic testament to Heather and her team for all the amazing work that goes into putting together such a huge event for South Australia. Um, so thank you to Heather and her team. Um, I think that's... Should we just do our pieces yes, and then if you have questions yeah. later? Is that okay? That's what we're going to do, questions yeah. after. Thank you so much for coming. It's that time of year again. We can't believe how fast it comes around. I'd like to acknowledge that we are here on the lands of the Ghana people and pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. And last year we sold one million tickets and this year we are on track to surpass that. We currently are tracking around about seven or eight percent ahead of this day last year so if we stay like that we're pretty much uh, on track to sell 1.1 million tickets so we keep our fingers crossed that uh, we will stay on track and smash the record of last year the tickets are so important to sell because it is the way that the artists and the venues recoup the costs of building their shows and the more bums on seats the better off everybody is in all the shows and the more fun everybody has at the Adelaide Fringe. There's over 500 venues, there's venues in the CBD, there's venues in the suburbs, in the regions, there's Fringe everywhere. We've got a new venue on the plaza, the Pink Flamingo Spiegel Club. We have um, venues in the Western Parklands. Uh, the infamous circus is down in Ellis Park and Side by Side Festival is also down in the western side. There's an inflatable church in Light Square. People can go and dress up and renew their vows and get married. We also have fantastic venues on Angus Street. This year we've got um, uh, the majestic hotel rooftop as well as Dom Polsky Centre, alive with a lot of cabaret and comedy. Natural Wonders is taking over the Botanic Gardens with a light and uh, projection art gallery under the stars. Every night in the Botanic Gardens, uh, that with a, a lot of South Australian artists have built installations, including Alex Frame, local Adelaide photographer. Uh, we have Harsh Realities, uh, with a piece called Passage, and Nurunjeri woman, Nicole Gollum, has got a water screen piece called The Spirit Lives On. So it's very magical in the Botanic Gardens this year. And out, um, in, out, out near Pasadena, Panorama, uh, is Sleeps Hill Tunnel. And it's a nearly 400 metres long tunnel. It used to be a steam train passage and it was abandoned for many years. It was a mushroom farm for many decades. And we've brought it to life with projections and immersive walkthrough installations. So um, please, it's a really unique opportunity. First time ever Sleep Hill Tunnel has been open to the public and I think people will really love the magic there. There's a lot of immersive uh, projects at the Freemasons Hall um, and some really great hits that we know and love for many years. So Limbo is back. Um, we have London Calling, which was their pick of the fringe last year. Hans is um, putting on Disco Spectacular, Ruben Kay, and we have fantastic ambassadors this year. Uh, Adam Liao is down at the Woodville Town Hall, Prunny Stevens in Gluttony, and Isaac Humphreys will be playing here at the Wonderland Spiegel Tent, which is a beautiful venue that we have on High Marsh Square. Lots of favourite venues obviously returning, the Garden, Gluttony, Fool's Paradise in Victoria Square, Rhino Room just across the road here, Holden Street Theatres in High Marsh, 
uh, and also Ayers House will be alive with many shows and the Courtyard in the Migration Museum. So there's fringe everywhere and there's a lot of fringe in the west side of the city too. So no matter where you are, um, you'll find fringe shows right near you, out in the suburbs as well as in the regions. Uh, we were able to award over a million dollars in grants to artists this year to help them put on their fringe shows and that's thanks to some fun the funding from the state government but also from many donations. And more than ever, it's so important that we raise funds for the artists and the venues. We know costs are escalating so we are trying as hard as we can to make sure that we can raise funds to, ha to handle, to disperse to artists and venues to help them um, offset their costs. We also had a wonderful um, initiative with um, the Music Development Office and Art South Australia uh, to do a number of different grants. So we've had a recent pool of grants gone out to music venues uh, thanks to the Music Development Office and we've also had some funds going out to shows that address mental health issues and that's thanks to the Mental Health Commissioner. So many different uh, grants that we've been able to uh, disperse. Novatech came on board as well with uh, a great generous um, offering for venues that were a number of grants we've dispersed there. And so we hope that we are going to have a fantastic record-breaking fringe this year. It's going to need lots of Adelaide people and lots of tourists coming out and we're feeling good, the weather's looking great. Um, we will also be running Adelaide Fringe Giving Day on the 29th of February. Um, so please give generously. We give all the money to the artists and the venues and we also buy tickets for disadvantaged community members. So all funds donated will be uh, used in that way and we don't keep any of the, those funds. Thank you so much to our principal partner, Bank SA, and thank you to the Government of South Australia and the Minister for the Arts for all the support and for being here this morning. Thank you to the City of Adelaide and to the Lord Mayor uh, and thank you to all our sponsors, all our artists. Thank you to all, everyone that participates and everybody that comes to Fringe. The, uh, the best time of year is about to start in Adelaide once again and uh, I think we're off to a really cracking opening weekend. So thank you so much. As the uh, member for Adelaide, I'm absolutely delighted that Fringe is back again. Uh, it really is the heartbeat of when our city comes alive uh, for February, we've got Mad March on the way uh, and awesome April. So I really do hope that people got a bit of rest over the Christmas and New Year period because it's going to get very busy in our city. We can't wait to bring our city alive with Fringe events and we're just calling on people from all across the state, all across our city to come on down and uh, support our Fringe all over our state and have a fantastic time. Thank you. Um, I also acknowledge we're on Ghana land and say what a joy it is to be here at this point in the year when Adelaide really fulfills its potential. For anybody who's been anywhere in the world, you go to festivals, you go to events, and it happens somewhere in one suburb or in a few streets. But Adelaide is unique because when we get the fringe, it is the Adelaide fringe and we exude excitement and vibrancy on every street, in every square, in every corner. And whilst it is great that there are so many events out of the CBD in North Adelaide, in reality, we have 200 venues in our city and we have three quarters of the shows in the city of Adelaide. It is impossible to be here and not know it's happening. So whilst we have the economic benefit for the state, and I thank the state government and Bank SA for their investment and enthusiasm, it's the people of Adelaide who really support this event and we encourage to come out. Because whilst it is wonderful that so many people come from interstate, this is an extraordinary um, experience for us. We can walk to events, we can walk to good restaurants and cafes and bars, and we can really enjoy at a reasonable price top quality artists from across the globe. This is an extraordinary opportunity and I thank the Fringe and Heather for all their efforts in bringing this extraordinary program to you. I encourage you all to buy tickets, spend money, have fun, because this is the best value you will get and the 
most fun and the closest to your home. And Adelaide is buzzing. For the first time this year, we are really um, incorporating the whole city. We had villages and hubs across from the east to the west, to Whitlaw Square, to Hutt Street, to the Parklands. There is something for everybody, whatever your taste, it's here to enthrall you. And I'm just so grateful that Adelaide does it as well as it does it, and we get the impetus every year to make it better. Thank you. Good time we like now. Check this out. Good morning everyone. Thanks for the opportunity to come here and speak with you on behalf of SAPOL. This year's Fringe uh, Festival is again an excellent event which is uh, conducted through throughout all the suburbs of Adelaide. Um, it's a widespread event. It is a significant time of year for us. Um, SAPOL's key objectives for this period of time is to ensure public safety, prevent uh, crime and theft of personal items and ensure that people abide by the road safety requirements when, when attending these events. Um, SAPO will be de deploying and utilising a number of uniform and um, unmarked uh, police resources including police dogs, horses, police on push bikes and um, for people using public transport, we'll have the public transport safety branch members paying particular attention to those types of uh, transport facilities to ensure everyone's safety. Um, just to make people aware that um, particularly the east and the end of Adelaide, which incorporates North Terrace down to the Credible Terrace um, and back through Grenfell Street and Rundle Street, will be a declared public precinct. That avails police to have additional powers to undertake uh, metal detect wanding, um, drug searching of people and the ability to be able to remove people or ban people from the designated area for the continued safety of the other patrons that will be attending the event. There will be a number of road closures in place for this event, particularly with the intersection of Rundle Street and East Terrace, which um, is for pedestrian safety. For the uh, with the garden events down in the East Parklands and other, other venues throughout the CBD, it is important that people are aware of the increased pedestrian traffic that will be moving around and there will be street closures during parts of the fringe which will accommodate a greater uh, festivity type approach. The police will be paying particular attention in relation to the behaviour of patrons and the consumption of alcohol etc like that. Before leaving home, we do implore you that you have a conversation with any vulnerable person in your family, whether that's elderly, children, um, or anyone else that is, may need assistance during the event. The, the tips that we are giving is to um, ensure that you have a conversation and dress the person in a, um, an outfit that was easily identifiable by you and for the police if we need to be um, undertake some sort of search to relocate that person or render assistance to them. We also say that uh, we also encourage to have a pre-designated meeting point for the safety of people if they become disorientated or need further assistance and encourage people to approach the police or security of the event which will be prevalent throughout the areas, all areas of the, of the fringe, to enable us to appropriately assist people when required. What we also have done is um, at all ticket booths there will be a, a wristband available to people that you can utilise for vulnerable people that may need assistance during the event. Please put contact details on that so we can uh, appropriately contact someone in the event that a person is located and unable to transmit uh, adequate information to us. If you're going to drive to the area, please ensure that you've got a, a, a pre-done plan for where you're going to park your vehicle. Give yourself adequate time and be aware that there will be road closures and there will be delays. The particular attention of drivers in relation to increased pedestrians is very important. 
this is a festive event, people will be out to enjoy themselves, there will be alcohol consumption and there will be inattention by pedestrians. Please be aware of them when you're driving. Look out for your family and friends at these events. Whilst um, everyone's out to have a good time, it's really important that everyone takes responsibility for each other's safety. When you're at the events, please do not leave personal items, even to go to get a drink or get some food. The risk of death is very high at these types of events and there's opportunistic events um, and people will take advantage of that. Um, the Adelaide Fringe is an open access festival in promoting inclusion by ensuring that everyone, irrespective of their background, ability, resources, has an equal opportunity to showcase their talents and voice their stories during this period of time. SAPOL does not condone any racist or abusive behaviour and will not tolerate that as part of the declared public precinct. Please plan your transport ahead of time. As I've said, we will have resources dedicated towards public transport. Public transport is encouraged to reduce the congestion and the risk to other road users in the city area. And have a plan of how you're going to get home, if you're going to come in and enjoy yourself, if you're going to drink. Please have a plan to get home safely at the end of the event. Road safety is an important is an important issue for us all throughout the year. This particular event creates an increased risk for the areas that the events are being conducted in and we implore people to pay particular attention and ensure their own safety when working, when um, driving on the roads in these vicinities. The police will be undertaking additional um, breath testing stations and drug testing um, processes during this period of time and ensuring that people are compliant with um, crossing of roads and obstructing of traffic to reduce the risk to all road users. Please don't drive after you've been drinking or have taken drugs. Pedestrians who have been drinking will be very inattentive. If you're involved in a collision it may not be your fault but the implications of that um, inattention may be considerable. If you have any see, if you see any suspicious behaviour, please call 131 or the emergency triple zero in the event of a, an immediate emergency. Let's stay safe together and enjoy this festive time of year. Thanks. Yes, you can do whatever you like. Hi everybody. Well, Adelaide, strap yourself in. It's just super exciting again this time of the year uh, for us to be able to showcase uh, the amazing city that we have here in Adelaide. And Bank SA is proud to be back as Adelaide Fringe's biggest supporter for the 19th year. We've renewed our partnership for another three years and we're celebrating. We're giving fringe goers 25% off tickets to a huge range of shows just by using their Bank SA card. And this year, for the first time, we have the Bank SA Theatre in Gluttony. We'll be giving card holders exclusive access to, line, to a lineup of amazing shows and it's all on us. So all you need to do is go online and use your Bank SA card uh, and actually pick up a uh, free ticket. If you're daunted by the sheer amount of uh, shows on offer, and as we've heard, there's 1,400 shows on offer, we've made it easier for you to locate those shows. Um, you can actually go on to the Bank SA My Fringe Planner uh, to actually navigate and actually pick those great shows that you're wanting to see. The importance of Fringe shouldn't be underestimated. In 2023, as we've heard, we sold over a million tickets and we're forecasting to do much more than that this year. There's more than $100 million that's injected into our state economy as the result of Fringe annually, and it produces significant economic impact, wellbeing impact, and social impact. The benefits of the uh, economy is one of the key reasons that Bank SA is really proud to be supporting the Fringe again. 
This line, this year's lineup is jam-packed, so we're making it easier and giving you more bang for your buck when it comes to planning what you wanted to see. So it's estimated that one in two South Australians actually attended the fringe last year. So my question is, what were the other half doing? So please, this year, I encourage everybody to come along, see a show, see um, the, the various gardens and the various venues. We've got some fantastic uh, outlets where we can actually eat and drink and really enjoy. Awesome areas for our kids to have fun. So I'm looking forward to seeing everybody at the bridge this year. Thank you. Hello everyone. Um, my name is Isaac Humphreys and you very well may know me from playing basketball for the Adelaide, Adelaide 36ers here in town. Um, but this year I'm swapping the bright lights of my stadium to the bright lights of this beautiful Spiegel tent at the Wonderland Festival Hub. Um, and of course, it's Adelaide Fringe, where else would you see a seven foot basketballer running around the stage singing and dancing. So that's where this will be. Um, I'm very excited. I've loved Fringe ever since I saw my first ever Fringe show a couple years ago. And I remember thinking I want to be a part of that. And the fact that I was given the opportunity by Fringe to be an ambassador um, is an incredible honour for me. I like to give back to this community of Adelaide as much as I can. And the fact that I get to do this in different ways, not just playing sport and not just being entertainment sport through sport is uh, very gratifying for me. So my show is here at the Wonderland Spiegel Tent, uh, March 15th and March 16th. It's called Unearthed and it touches you know, a, a lot on the, the very difficult journeys that I've had with coming out as, as gay. Um, I am the only openly gay basketball player in the world and uh, that came with a lot of emotions, a lot of pressure and my show unearths, unearths a lot of the lessons that I learned throughout that process and of course the highs that came from you know living a really amazing fun life and free life so there's original songs there's covers there's crying ballads and there's songs that'll make you want to get up and dance so there's everything in between and um, I'm very excited very honored to be a part of this process and I've loved and valued every single piece of this whole process so yeah very exciting <laughs> Well, before I grew a seven foot, I was very normal height and I was a performing kid. I was in music, I was singing and dancing on stage all the time. Um, I was that little unique kid that loved performing arts. And then when I grew, basketball came along and it took a very big backseat to my basketball career. Um, I've tried my best to balance the two over the years. I've had headline shows in the US. I've had, uh, I played a show at the Debbie a few years ago here in Adelaide. But Adelaide Fringe is taking the cake for me and this process has very much solidified my professional approach to um, taking, uh, sorry, my professional approach to music. I've released music this past year and um, it's something that I've, I've wanted to make a balance of. My basketball is half my year and it's what a lot of people know me for, but having fans screw at me during games, I love your song, is now becoming a really cool moment for me and, and hearing fans tell me that they're coming to my show, they're coming to see me at Fringe, has been amazing. So um, it's not new for me, but it's probably new for a lot of people who may not know me um, as, as well just yet, but that's my plan to just keep doing as much of this stuff as I can so that you know, the real life Troy Bolton can sort of come to, come to fruition a little bit. <laughs> and how, is it off season in basketball? Uh, we have our last game on Sunday. Okay. Uh, and then I'm, I'm actually been, uh, been chosen to represent Australia next week um, in the Boomers. So I'll do that and then I'll be able to um, attack Fringe. <laughs> yeah, a few things to get through first, but yeah, uh, that's okay. That's my life. Cool. Thank you. Cool. Thank you.